We're going to take a look at some of the questions that you did in checkpoint test two. Number one E, you were asked to simplify this expression. And our first job is to make sure that all of the bases are powers of prime numbers. So the only base here that is not a prime number is the base of 9. And we can rewrite 9 as being 3 times 3, or 3 squared. And we can then raise that to the power of n plus 1. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So you need to multiply the 2 by the n and the 2 by the positive 1. So that will leave us 3 to the 4n plus 1 multiplied by 3. Remember that the exponent on that is positive 1 if it's not filled in. And then in the denominator, we will have 3 to the 2n plus 2 times by 3 to the 2n. We can now simplify by multiplying and dividing the powers that have the same base. When you multiply powers with the same base, you add the exponent. So we will add the positive 1. We will subtract the 2n plus 2 because when you divide powers with the same base, you subtract exponents and then minus the 2n. If we simplify, that gives us 4n, positive 1, add 1 is positive 2. If we distribute the negative into the brackets, we get negative 2n minus 2 and minus 2n. If we simplify the exponent, 4n minus 2n is 2n, minus 2n is 0. Positive 2 subtract 2 is 0, and anything to the power of 0 is positive 1. In question 4, you were given a graph showing the value of an investment of 1,500 Rand over a period of time growing at 4.5% per annum. Number A, how much is the investment worth at four years? So you read four off of the horizontal axis, read up to the graph and across, and it is worth 1,800 Rand at four years. How much is the investment worth at 8 years? So we now find the value at 8 years. We read up to the graph and across. And here it doesn't fall on a particular value. So you're going to need to estimate. That is between 2000 and 2200. So halfway would be 2100. It's slightly over that. So it is at approximately 2130 or 2140, you would have a little bit of leeway in terms of that answer. So if you said 2150, that's also um, an acceptable answer. All right, number C, use the formula A equals P time, uh, into 1 plus I to the power of N to find the exact value of the investment at 8 years. So now we can see how close our estimation was. <clears throat> so our starting value is 1500, the P is the starting value. The interest is 4,5% per annum as a decimal, that's 0, 0,045, and we want to know the value at 8 years, which is 2,133 Rand and 15 cents. So we can see that our estimate of the graph wasn't too far off.